Okay, I've had a few people ask me for a video on how to program Rift Step to just switch between a couple different whammy settings. The first thing you want to do is select the Rift Step preset where you want to put this program. If you just turn it on, it's on preset number one, but you hold down the tap button to select the preset and you can go through, there's the first date, and then when you get to number nine, you'll see that one's off to show you that's number nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Anyway, back to one here. So we'll press the tap button again. So we're gonna write preset number one. Now to get into edit mode, you press in the button on the side and you'll see the LEDs go across until they're all flashing, then you let go. The first thing you do is select how many different steps you wanna go through. In this case, that's how many different whammy settings we want to switch between. And we can go four, five, that's eight there. That'd be nine when it's just the one on and the rest of them flashing. 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 16 here. Well, we're gonna go back down and just make it go between two different settings. So just the single LED flashing. Then you press the button in again. Now this asks you what type of program you wanna program. And you can see written on Rift Step here, it says two step, tap, MIDI, one shot, set, and one step. Well, we're gonna use set because that's the different whammy settings. You can see when you move this around, it'll light up the two LEDs right above or below whatever setting that you're working with, whatever type of program, I should say. So anyway, we're gonna use set because that's the one to cycle between whammy settings. So press it in, and now this is the first whammy setting. And we turn the knob, and you'll notice over on the whammy here, we're selecting the different presets. Now watch what happens when we get to the top here. When we click it over, you'll see the whammy turn on. And then it goes through all the different settings with the whammy on. The thing about the whammy is when you send it a program change, it makes you choose whether or not you have the pedal bypassed or turned on. So let's say we want to cycle between an octave up and an octave down with the whammy on for the first setting. Then we press the button in and now we're on the second setting. And now we can choose where we want that second setting to go. So we'll say, we'll just do a, um, an octave up. So now, this is with the whammy off. If you want it on, you have to cycle back around like this, turn it on, but we're gonna make it off. And then all you do is you hold in the button on the side again until you see a smile show up on Rift Step. Boom, there it is. So now, this first program on Rift Step, when you press the step button, it just cycles between the two whammy settings. There's the octave up, octave down harmony with the pedal on and octave up with the whammy off. And that's all there is to it. You can find a lot more information in other videos at stepaudio.net.